Good morning, boys and girls, and how are you doing today? It's Dr. Sanders. I'm back at, in room nine, the region's largest classroom, and I'm here to teach a little pre-K and K, ELA and math, but like I always say, it doesn't matter if you're two or 102, you can learn something, or hopefully you'll learn something, but I know for sure you will have some what? Fun, F-U-N, fun. All right, so let's, remember I work at Adams Elementary in St. Louis Public School District, and let's just get started. You ready to get started? Oh, let's get started. Let's take a look at our, what we're talking about today. We'll recognize and work with sounds, letter sounds, beginning sounds, and we'll explore time on a clock, and we'll explore some basic addition and subtraction. All right, sounds good to me, sounds good to you, I hope. So let's go, let's go. First, what we're going to do is we are going to look at, remember we've been doing, I've been showing you letters and you have to tell me, start shouting out words that start with that letter, that start with that letter, okay? Any words that you want. So we're gonna do those right now. So you ready? Here we go. Let's start with this letter right here. Oh, yes, you're right. I have to take off my hat. You're right. The AL hat. That AL hat. Here we go. And here we go. What letter is this? That's the letter P. What sound does P make? Oh, I was supposed to tell you. The sound make is P. Tell me those words that start with the P sound. Popcorn, picture, take a picture, everybody. Push, pull, pose. Who can pose? I bet you a bunch of you all pose like this, don't you? Put those fingers down. Pumpkin, pillow, Ooh, I like a good pillow. Punch, no, don't punch your friends. All right, oh, you all keep shouting all those words out. All right, what's the next letter? Let's see. The next letter is K. Mix the K. Give me some K word. Kangaroo. Kick. Kill. I heard that word. Kip. Boo. <laughs> Kiss. Ooh. Yes. Key. Yes. Oh, somebody said cow. Cow and Cow makes the same sound. It starts with the same sound, but it doesn't start with the letter C. Okay, it starts with the letter C. Kind. Make sure you're kind. In our new book, her name is Kate. Keep. All right, here we go. Let's go with our next letter. This is the letter N, I hope. Yes, it's the letter N. It makes the Mmm sound. Tell me a word that starts with the mmm sound. Nap. Ooh, who wants to take <sighs> nap? I heard nap. Net. Starts with a G N, but net. <laughs> neck. Ooh, neck. Nip. Yes, nip. When you just take a little bite, or sometimes a, a, a cat will nip you. What else? Tell me something about it. Ooh, I no. Ooh, I heard that one nice and loud. Nose, yes. You all keep going. You all, so many words, so many words. Great job. Net, who likes to play basketball over the net or volleyball. Here we go. And what letter is this? A, yes. It makes the A sound or the A. Apple, yes, keep shouting. Acorn, axe. Alligator, ape, yes, keep going. Al, oh, man, you make it so, yes, great job. Good job, keep shouting them. Keep saying all those words that start with the A sound or the A sound. Acorn, apple, yes. And it 
should be our last letter. Oh, we're missing one, but that's okay. We'll do that one. This is the X sound. X makes the X sound. Xylophone. What else? X-ray. Fox. Yeah, Fox in. The, yes. Box. Yes. X is a hard one, but I bet you can think of some more. Keep shouting them. Ask your grown-up. Tell you. Yeah. Keep going. Ask your grown-up. Who's with you? All right. All right. Keep, good, good work. Good work. And our last one is the letter Z. Z. What letter? What word start with the letter Z? <coughs> Zipper. Zoo. Keep going. Yes. Zebra. Zip. Zap. Zigzag. Zigzag. Yes. Keep shouting those Z words. Good work, boys and girls. Good work, boys and girls. Now we're going to move on to our names for the week. We have a, a names for the day. We have a few couple new names. These names are some some of my friends, some of my grown-up friends, but they're, they are very, um, they're special. They're some special names. I still have some names next week that I'm going to get to for my um, other friends, like Atlas. I'll get to you next week. But here we go. This name, person's name is Darby. Hi, Darby. Darby is a friend of mine. Let's spell Darby. What letter does her name start with? D. Let's spell Darby. D-A-R-B-I-E. D-A-R-B-I-E. All right. And whose name is this? Beth. Yes, that's Beth. Starts with the letter what? B, capital B, B-E-T-H, B-E-T-H. And whose name is this? Shelly, yes, this is Shelly. At the beginning of her name, she has the sh sound. So we don't say s Ellie, we say sh. S-H makes the sh sound. Shelly, let's spell Shelly. S H E L L Y. S H E L L Y. And whose name is this? Misty. Hi, Misty. Her name. Her letter starts with the letter. Her name starts with the letter M. Let's spell Misty. M I S T Y. M I S T Y. And whose name is this? Yes, Darion. Hi, Darion. Darion name starts with the letter D, like Darby. Let's spell Darion. D A R R I O N. D A R R I O N. And tomorrow, these five, my five friends right here, they were the last five Missouri State Teachers of the Year. Tomorrow, we'll tell you a little bit more about them where they work. And all that, it's a little bit more stuff about them, okay? And those are my names. All right, so let's go over our words for this week. Are you ready? Here we go. What word is this? Jump. Jump, jump, jump. Did you jump up on your bed? Oh, let's spell jump. Jump. J U M P. Jump. What word is this? It's a color word. Red. Yes. Let's spell red. Red. R-E-D. Red. Did you have Kool-Aid today? Did you have a red blow pop today? Because I see your tongue is so red. What word is this? Woo. Everybody said that one. Is. Is. This is. The third show of this week is, let's spell is, is, I S, is. Let, what word is this? With, with. Are you working with Dr. Sanders today? Let's spell with, with, W I T H, with. 
And whose word is name? What word is this? Has. He has spelled this word four times this week. She has the greatest curls. He has a wonderful jump shot. Let's spell has. Has. H A S. Has. And oh, where? Oh, I mean, what word is this? Where? Let's spell where. Where? W H E R E. Where? Where are you going for your birthday? Where in the world is the money? I don't know. Where in the world is all the money? I don't have it. Where and there. There it is. There's all the money. Let's spell there. There. T-H-E-R-E. -E. There. All right, boys and girls, we have one more day with those words. And now this week we're doing an Arthur study, right? And we're studying the Arthur who's from St. Louis, and her name is Jasmine Fuhr. And she has several books, and they all, they all have to do with being confident in yourself, doing different things that you can do for yourself. The name of the book I'm reading today is... I am Kate, the Brave, a story about loving our planet. I am Kate, the Brave, a story about loving our planet. I'll talk about it in a second. We also have read I am Chance the Noble, I am Ace the Great, and we read the our first book, or I am Queen the Dreamer, and you are great. And in all of her books, all of her books, she has what she calls daily affirmations. So, and we talked about this, so let's read them and re uh, mimic me. That means repeat, right? I am smart. I am brave. I am happy. I am great. And remember, no matter what, I am me. I am, I am smart, I am brave, I am happy, I am great, I am me. So we're going to read about Kate, what, this is the what, front cover, oh, I'm sorry, everybody stand up, we'll wait one second, everybody stand up, raise the roof ten times, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. All right, jump up and down four times. Go one, two, three, four. All right, nod your head six times. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, dab three times. Go one, two, three. Ten jumping jacks. You ready? Go one, oops, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's sit down on three. Go one, two, three. Up, down, up, down. Sit right down on the ground. Or sit down in your chair. Or sit down on the floor, wherever you want to sit down. Here we go. I am Kate. The Brave, a story about loving our planet by Jasmine Fuhr, and I have permission from her to read her book. Every day when Kate wakes up, she sees her parents with so and with so much love, they give her a list of sentences to say to prepare her for her amazing day. I am smart, I am brave, I am happy, I am great. I am Kate the Brave, and today is my day. So Kate went to class to share a letter of, of a plan she sent to the mayor to make this. So Kate went to class to share a letter of a plan she sent to the mayor to make the city better. She wants a park so everyone can have a place to have fun. Her classmate said, we love the letter. We want, we want the park. 
Thank you, said Kate. I am smart. Then Kate went outside and saw some trash spread across the school's grass. Her friend Chance was trying to take a picture, but his classmate made it too dirty to capture. Listen, said Kate, let's take care of the earth. Please reduce, reuse, and recycle first. Chance took pictures of everyone working together to make help to help make the earth better. Everyone clean and put the trash in the right place. We did it, said Kate. I am brave. <laughs> Dur during recess, Kate was in a race with King, Queen, Chance, and Ace. They passed the slide and the swings. They zoomed past everything. Thank you for racing with me, Kate said. I am happy. So her friends made her happy, right? Yes. After class with high self-esteem, Kate met with her swim team. She never swam before this year, but she swims every week without fear. Kate went at her own pace. She swam across the pool and won the race. I did it, said Kate. I am brave. Why was she brave? Because was she scared of the water? She might have been at the beginning, but then she wasn't anymore. And practiced and practiced and just did it the best she could. Then Kate ate dinner with her dog, Prince. Her family got him when Kate was five and loved him ever since. Prince ate out of his bowl. The family ate off their plates. Sitting together was Kate's favorite part of the day. She said, thank you for having dinner with me. Kate said, I am happy. Are you happy when you eat um, dinner with your family? Sometimes we don't get that, we don't get a chance to, but it's very nice when you get to. Then Kate's family took her to the city corner. They saw a crowd and the mayor. Hey, Kate, said the mayor, I got your letter. So we made this park to make the city better. The mayor said, this is now Kate's park. Awesome, Kate said, I am smart. Why was she smart? Because she wrote a letter and the mayor listened to her letter. People cheered and the dogs barked. Everyone loved the new park. Kate said, all of my sentences came true. Great, they said. What did you do? Kate replied, I went to school and I read a letter. I helped my classrooms. I helped my classmates treat the earth better. I played with King, Queen, Chance, and Ace. Then I won my swim race. I had dinner with my family, and we got a part for all to see. My entire day was great as me. Can you believe all that I achieved? In just one day, I can say, I am smart, I am brave, I am happy, I am great. I did all of this because I believe, I did all of this because I am me. Did Kate do some wonderful things? Yes, did she help uh, save the earth by getting the park and cleaning the trash? Yes. Remember, there's so many things you can do because you are you, because you are very smart. You are brave. You can be, you are happy. And you are great. And you are you. I am me. So try some of those things. Try to do some things. And sometimes it takes more than one day. It takes a little longer than that. But you can be great, right? You know how you, you also can be brave and great and happy? 
by giving. This is the season of giving, right? What did you give today? Did you give somebody a compliment? Did you say, oh, I like your hair? Did you say, oh, I like the clothes that you have on? Because sometimes giving things doesn't mean you have to give, you know, anybody a quarter. You can just give compliments. Oh, I really like Dr. Sanders and the way he was teaching today. Or say that to your grown-up, who you with. Say, I love you for making me lunch. I love you for watching me. Or give a hug. Sometimes it's a hug. And now, because of what's going on, a hug might be a fist bump. Or it might be an elbow. Or you can give air hugs too, right? Because we want to stay healthy and safe. But you can get, remember, the season of giving. It's not all about what you get. It's about giving. All right? Who wants to give something today? Let me hear you give, give somebody a compliment. Give somebody around you. Say something. I love you or I love your hair. Give somebody a compliment. Ooh, somebody said, I like your shoes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's take our affirmations down and let's count some numbers. You ready to count some numbers? We are going to start on number 91 today. We're going to start, start on 91 today. Uh-oh, my number chart is going to fall down. If it falls down, don't laugh. It's a boo 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 boo. All right, here we go. You ready? Learn. Warm up your breath. No more. Warm, warm up your voice. Here we go. La 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 la. <coughs> here we go. 91, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 100. All right, now we're going to count by fives from zero to 100 by fives. All right, on the five, the one with the end in the five, we're going to be, we're going to be low. If it ends in a zero, get louder. Okay, I'll show you. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred, one hundred. We got to one hundred. Now we're gonna count by tens. And when we count from zero to 100 by tens, this time we're gonna start low at 10. We go 10, 20, 30, 40. And when we get loud, we're gonna get a little louder on 100, okay? Here we go. Zero, 10. Oops, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I hope that wasn't too loud. I hope I didn't wake the baby. All right, boys and girls. 100, 100. Write 100 in there. 1, 0, 0, 100, 1, 1, 100. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting too happy just for 100. We count to 100 every day. All right. Let's look at our number chart. Let's do one addition problem where we're counting by tens. Remember, when we count by tens, you just go down a row. Or up numbers, right? So when we say 6 plus 10, what do you do? You look at 6 and you go what? To 16. You know what you can do? You can have your grown-up print you out a number chart. Tell them to Google number chart, a hundreds number chart. Look on PBS Media and PBS Media, PBS Learning Media, and they have a whole bunch of stuff on there for you to learn. But here we go. 6 plus 10 is what? 16. Hmm. 7 plus 10. Remember we just go down one? 7 plus 10 more is 17. Let's find the number 64. A, two digits are what? A 6 and a 4. So, let's see. A 6 and a 4. The 6 comes first. 6 is in the 10s column, but you'll learn that later. 64 plus 10 is what? 74, right? We just go down. Now, let's do some subtraction problems. 
Subtraction is you're taking away. So instead of going down in the number chart, you're going back in the number chart or up. So if we look at 34, what two digits make up 34? 34. 30. A 3 and a 4. A 3 and a 4. And we're going to subtract 10. So we're going to go this way. No, that's adding 10. Let's go back. So 34 minus 10 is 24. 34 minus 10 is 24. All right. Um, let's go 82. 82. What two digits make up 82? 82. Right. An 8 and a 2. two. That's right. Let's see if we can find. Okay, that's 80, 82. 82 is right here. So 82 subtract 10. So we got 82. Take away. Yes, 72. You got to go. That's right. That's right. 82 subtract 10 is 72. All right. One more. Let's go 44. 44. What two digits make up 44? A four, a forty-four, a four and a four. That's right. So let's go to 44. 40, 44. 44 subtract 10. 44, I take 10 away. I could say, but I know on my number chart, I just take 10 away. And it's what? 34. That is so right. You all are getting so good at this. Did you have some? What's this word? Fun. Fun. F-U-N. Fun. I hope you had some fun today. But today is my... It's time to go. It's time to go. So, what word is this? Nine. That's right. Room nine. The Lord just... Let's spell nine. Nine. N-I-N-E. Nine. The largest classroom in the region. Bye-bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.